वेलकम बैक टू दी आई एस एल रिव्यू शो ब्रॉट यू बाई खेल नाउ डॉट कॉम टूडे विल बी रिव्यूंग द परफॉर्मेंस फॉर केरला ब्लास्टर्स एफ सी फॉर दी आई एस एल सीजन टू नाउ लास्ट ईयर फाइनलिस्ट हैव एन रियली गॉड ऑफ टू अ गुड स्टार्ट दर हेड कोच हैज बीन सैक वन विन एंड टू ड्रॉज फाइव पॉइंट एंड सेवन गेम्स बॉडम ऑफ द लीग नॉट टू गुड सो निखिल वट डू थिंक अबाउट द परफॉर्मेंस अब टिल नाउ वेल एज फार एज द पॉइंट्स आर कंसर्न clearly they don't have not too many wins there either they haven't really played too badly uh, gibran it's just right. a question of getting those wins getting those draws and they haven't got too many they've got great fan support have had good number of home games should have really clocked in couple of games i thought they really played well uh, yeah. and lost it at some place and ended up with no points but overall the team is okay from here on it's only a, a you know a big battle at hand right now just to look at the positives uh Who do you think have been the standard standout performers for Kerala? Mohammad Rafi has fairly been outstanding for them. They've had a, a few players who I think are uh, a fairly good. You can't call them standout performers when your team doesn't really get a lot of points on the board. But look at you know starting from the back, Stephen Bywater has been a good performer, very very um, assured of of his collections, his distribu- distribution. Mm-hmm. Uh, in 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 the defense, I think the two two guys who really stand out are uh, their wing backs, Rahul Beke and C K Vineet. Have both done well, bombing up, coming back, providing a lot of support, getting few assists. Uh, Mohammad Rafi has done really well, well for himself. He's almost in a very close manner got four goals uh, coming off headers, and of course, the man who's really worked his socks off in the front of the field is Chris Dagnall. Uh, probably should have gotten a few more goals. That's what uh, strikers do. He hasn't, but still quite a big performer for Kerala Blasters. Right. Uh, so, where do you think? <laughs> All is gone wrong for Kerala. I mean, what are their weaknesses that you can point out? Well, I'll, I'll start off with you know what the first game they played a three-five-two. Right. Uh, they did well. They won it. But ever since that formation hasn't really worked for them. And just to just to illustrate this, this this is a screen grab from uh, from their from their loss against Goa. This is the 45th minute. Uh, yes, they're 1-0 up. But look at the number of people they have in their own half. The entire team is in their own half while the ball is at halfway line. Right. So you're putting a lot of bodies behind the ball. While that's a good thing that shows organization. But if you're that defensive. there will be teams there will be players who who will punish you and uh, 35 to clearly hasn't worked for kerala when you have three defenders at the back you're yeah. assuming those those three defenders will take care of one or two strikers and then the three in the middle will take care of the midfielders while the wing backs bomb up and support the strikers with crosses coming in that clearly hasn't happened uh, so <clears throat> they needed some kind of incisive edge in the final third that's mm-hmm. missing so you You know, you see a lot of uh, first touches, the finishes from Sanchez, Watford, from their other uh, strikers. Yeah. The midfield hasn't really controlled it, so they're always hoping to score one and defend, which clearly hasn't happened. Uh, they should also probably close games. Uh, they led in Pune, uh, they led in Goa. Yeah, they should have closed those games out. They haven't been, and as a result. they find themselves at the bottom of the table they've been playing too defensive this season yeah. i think so and their formation is not supporting the kind of players they have right uh, you know you need exceptionally uh, technical players to play that 352 formation yeah. it's not very easy for people to understand and barring the italians i haven't seen too many people put that 352 formation and perform outstandingly right uh, so in your opinion nikhil what is the way forward for kerala now It looks like a very very tough road for them. Yeah. Uh, they've got three home games. The first thing is to make the best out of it. They can't change mon- uh, much about their personnel right now, so they have to hope uh, that that you know Watts and Daniel and Mohammad Rafi and Manandeep get a yeah. few goals and then defend stoutly. They go away to make a point or two away, even a win. Uh, it's not impossible, Jibran. We've right. seen Goa do remarkably well last season. Mm-hmm. Uh, looks a little tough for Kerala Blasters, Kerala Blasters right now. But I'm hoping you know a change in change at helm will will help them come back strongly into the Indian Super League. All right, thanks, Nikhil. Thank you for watching the ISL Review Show brought to you by KLNow.com. Keep watching. Thank you.